My goal with this video is to compare two of the most popular eight cell LiPo batteries. One is the uh, Pulse Ultra 50C 4100 milliamp hour pack and the uh, fairly same size uh, Maniacs uh, 55C 4000 milliamp hour eight cell pack. I have had a very positive experience with the Pulse Ultra batteries for at least the past eight years or so. Uh, I, I believe that the original Pulse, not the Ultras, but the Pulse, the uh, uh, red label batteries were not very good, but the Pulse Ultras have, have been very good for the past eight years that I have been using them. The uh, Maniacs batteries, uh, I have been using this brand for the past uh, uh, two, maybe two and a half years, and they have uh, performed uh, uh, very well. I really cannot say that the performance of the Pul Pulse Ultras or the Maniacs are better than the other, but there are some deep differences in uh, in their construction and, uh, and other uh, features that uh, do differentiate them. Uh, but uh, performance-wise, they, 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 they are both very, very good in my experience. The main thing uh, to notice at this time between these two batteries is that the Pulse Ultras uh, do have a 4100 milliamp hour capacity compared to a 4000 milliamp hour capacity. Uh, this uh, additional 100 milliamp hour capacity may add another 10 to 15 seconds of flight time, uh, which uh, uh, may make a difference. Uh, but uh, all in all, the uh, the capacity is very similar between the two. As far as the uh, uh, the C rating, 50C versus 55C, uh, you know, in, in all honesty, uh, even the Pulse Ultras of uh, 45Cs, uh, they perform superbly well. Uh, I've used uh, Maniacs of uh, 55Cs and 70Cs in the past. They, uh, honestly, they, they perform similarly. Uh, I wouldn't really pay much attention to the C rating here, uh, uh, but the expectation is that these both of these batteries should perform uh, very well uh, for uh, 3D helicopters. As far as the construction, I do like how the Pulse Ultras uh, do have a clear uh, wrapping so you can actually uh, see the individual uh, cells. Uh, this is in contrast to the Maniacs batteries where the black wrap uh, does not allow you to uh, uh, inspect uh, individual cells uh, uh, visually. Um, it, I mean, it hasn't been an issue for me, but uh, uh, I, I personally, all else being equal, I do prefer to be able to visualize the individual cells uh, better than not visualizing them. I like the construction of the Pulse Ultras a little better when it comes to the uh, actual wires. As you can see here, uh, the wires uh, do come with uh, an extra layer of uh, insulation. Uh, what this does is protect the wires from getting uh, shaved by the uh, clear uh, wrap. And this does a very good job at that. In contrast with these uh, Maniacs batteries, the uh, there's really a very, uh, well, basically no protection for, uh, uh, to the uh, wire insulation from the very sharp uh, wrap. And, uh, and, uh, and all of my, uh, or actually I shouldn't say all because uh, now I do something about it, but uh, my previous experience with these uh, Maniacs batteries is that the wire insulation gets cut as it uh, as a wire uh, makes contact with this uh, um, sharp edges of the uh, wrap. So what I do now is that uh, I uh, put a second layer of insulation and uh, here I have to be a little careful because if I uh, try to uh, uh, heat shrink the insulation all the way to the uh, pro proximal end of the wire. It'll also melt this uh, wrap and it creates a problem that the wrap will actually uh, uh, distort and break. Uh, so what I do now is that I make this uh, insulation a little long so that I only uh, shrink wrap uh, this uh, uh, more distal end of the uh, shrink wrap 
and it doesn't uh, end up affecting the actual uh, wrap. Uh, but anyway, but this does work well uh, for protecting the, the wires um, uh, from uh, getting uh, uh, lacerated by the sharp edges of the um, uh, of this uh, uh, wrap. But uh, again, I, I feel that the uh, Pulse uh, Ultras do make a better job at constructing these in that they put the um, the second layer of insulation uh, on the wire prior to heat shrinking uh, the the plastic uh, wrap around the battery. The wires on the Pulse Ultras are also easier to deal with as they are 10 gauge uh, wires, which is generally the same uh, gauge used by the uh, ESCs. Uh, so uh, 10 gauge is a little easier to uh, to work with uh, uh, compare say to the maniacs that use 8 gauge wires so whether you are uh, uh, soldering or or doing a, uh, a solderless connect to, uh, connection uh, I, I feel that uh, this uh, 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 lower gauge uh, 10 gauge uh, wire is it, just easier to work with than the uh, much thicker uh, 8 gauge and it, it and this really doesn't offer too much of an advantage uh, compared to uh, 10 gauge 10 gauge is, is really more than sufficient uh, for uh, at least the applications that I use it for uh, maybe for uh, a speed helis, this may make a difference, uh, but uh, I don't know. Uh, but certainly for 3D uh, helis, uh, 10 gauge is more than sufficient. Now, weight is a significant difference between these two packs. The uh, Pulse Ultra is much lighter at uh, 794 grams. Uh, and this is a, a battery with connectors. Uh, the similar uh, uh, Maniac with uh, my connectors, it's a uh, much uh, heavier at 894, so it's about a hundred grams uh, difference. Uh, if you're using a helicopter with two packs, now that's a 200 gram difference, and you know, it's basically like a half a pound. Uh, so, this is just something to think about uh, if uh, weight uh, savings is a concern. So far, it looks like the Pulse Ultra has the Maniac's battery beat in both weight savings and even the uh, uh, higher 100 milliamp hour capacity. So what is the problem with this battery? Uh, it's the shape. So basically, this uh, uh, it is a very rectangularly shaped uh, uh, battery compared to a very uh, uh, square shape uh, battery. Uh, so this uh, shape, it comes down to about uh, 43 millimeters by roughly 65 millimeters uh, compared to a more even uh, a 49, uh, 49 by 55 millimeter, uh, uh, I guess it would be uh, height and, uh, and width. Uh, this uh, battery, uh, despite uh, uh, not being my preferred battery of the two, but based on the uh, weight savings, uh, construction, uh, and uh, milliamp hour, it, it, it this battery f will fit much better in my uh, lightweight uh, 700 class uh, Tron uh, Dynamic than than this battery, and and I'll I'll show you uh, why. The battery compartment on the Tron Dynamic and of course Tron 5.8 as well is uh, the width is only 56 millimeters and the height is 70 millimeters. So that's all you have to play with. This uh, uh, Pulse battery, uh, the width is 65 millimeters. So of course it's not going to fit in a width wise in a uh, 56 millimeter compartment. So the only way that this can fit would be uh, uh, this way uh, on its height. The problem here is that there's only about 4.5 millimeters uh, between the, the bottom of the, the battery and the actual plate, uh, which is not a whole lot of clearance at 4.5 millimeters. This, uh, when you start accounting for uh, using Velcro or even uh, a thin uh, uh, two layer, uh, uh, 
adhesive uh, 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 tape uh, to um, fasten the battery to the uh, battery tray, uh, there there really isn't much clearance left. Uh, uh, even if I, I use these uh, buckleless, uh, rather thin uh, Velcro, it, it still adds enough uh, uh, width so that the, the 4.5 millimeter uh, clearance that you get is just not. Uh, uh, it's a tight fit. I want to say I don't want to say it's not enough. It's just a tight fit. Um, the Maniac's battery it, it, it's much uh, easier to fit within this compartment. You can either do it on on its width. There, uh, at least in theory, it, it'll it'll fit. Uh, it just doesn't fit as well. I'm actually going to end up uh, uh, inserting it uh, uh, using its uh, actual. Uh, height, uh, but what's nice about it is that there's still, even if I, I use it uh, height-wise, uh, there is still about 14.5 millimeter clearance between the bottom of the bottom of the battery and the uh, top of the uh, plate. Uh, so there's a uh, plenty of room for uh, to account for the uh, Velcro with the uh, uh, straps, so but even with the buckles, and the uh, and accounting for a crash, uh, that uh, there's plenty of clearance here to give some uh, more reasonable protection to the batteries, and, and that's really uh, uh, the main reason why I will uh, end up uh, uh, going with the Maniac's batteries over the. Uh, lighter weight and, and, and yes, higher capacity pulse batteries, mainly because these uh, will fit a lot better in this helicopter than, than these uh, uh, pulse uh, batteries. For folks who have used both uh, types of uh, or both uh, batteries, uh, the Pulse and the Maniacs in their 8 cell version uh, in the 4,000 and 4,100 milliamp hour versions I'd be interested in your thoughts uh, how they uh, compare at least uh, uh, in your opinion and also be interested in uh, what folks are using uh, as far as batteries on their uh, Tron uh, dynamic uh, uh, helicopter.